see him around in cafes and stuff. But he's always, everybody loved him. Independence resident Charles Martin has nothing but respect for Sergeant Smith, despite the fact the two had an in the line of duty encounter. He picked me up for an OWI about seven, eight years ago. He's a pretty decent guy, very nice, very respected. Independence pharmacist Jean Adams has lived in town all her life. She had interactions with Sergeant Smith through church functions. Officer Smith was very loving. He loved his family. He loved God. He was kind and fair to everyone he knew. He was, he was one of the good guys. Adams says she has known Sergeant Smith and his family, wife and two children, for about a decade, telling us he did what he could to give back to the town where he was raising his family. He was kind. He would give people rides in his police car. Um, he would reach out to the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts and just was a good community member. Adams admits it was hard to accept Sergeant Smith's tragic death, but her fond memories of him will live on. can't replace a person. Like he's, he was so loving and you'd walk in there and he was just calming and we were happy to know him. He was, he was a blessing in our lives. Sergeant Smith will not be forgotten. In Independence, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, I was news leader. The man accused of shooting Smith is 41 year old Michael Lang. He was arrested after Friday night standoff. Lang was shot several times and is hospitalized in critical condition. He's charged with first degree murder.